everyone! We can't obviously have adult arts and crafts and coloring this afternoon like we would have normally had on the first Monday in April, but I'm going to show you a little simple craft that you may be able to do from home with things that you have around your house, or at least they're things that we had around our house. So um, what we're going to do today is make some painted inspirational rocks. You may have seen these out in the world where people decorate a rock and leave it in a public place um, and maybe somebody else can pick it up and, and leave another one that they made themselves. This could be something you make for yourself to put outside, to um, pass on to someone else, whatever. But I'll show you some examples first of what we made, my daughter and I. So we're going to come and look over here. So these are some examples of the finished products. Um, this one is just a really simple, we painted, well what we did first is we gathered some rocks from outside, um, cleaned them up, and then we, this is an example of one with just some wording written on it. This is one that's a little bit decorated, you can see some little daisies written on there with the word that we have. And then this one is a favorite uh, lyric of mine from the musical Les Miserables. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. And that's a sunrise on it painted by my daughter. So we're going to come over here. Very, very high tech setup here, as you can see on my dining room floor. But here are some of the rocks that we found, got different sizes, different shapes, and just washed them so that we'd have something to work with. You could work with very small, small rocks. Of course, you can't write as much on them. If you want something longer, like a literary quote or a phrase, you'll want, of course, a bigger rock. So what you want to do then um, is use acrylic paint on them. Now, we do have some acrylic paint in our house because we do have some artists here, but what we ended up using, we're going to come over here and look, is actually leftover color by number paint. We just had this still sitting around from color by numbers that we had done before. Some of them were dried up and we had to throw those out, but a lot of them are still good. And this gives you a lot of really interesting color choices. So that's an idea if you're thinking, I don't have acrylic paint, maybe you have some craft kit around that have that. So then um, what we're gonna do is just picked out a color that we like for a base color. I've just been stirring these up with our little toothpicks uh, for paint stirrers. And I'm gonna use a brush, just really, you know, any kind of a paintbrush that you might have around should work. And I am just going to paint a rock here. So we're just going to put that on here. And, you know, I am not much of a crafty person. This, there's a reason that I am not the person who normally runs your um, arts and crafts program. But I have to say, it's really satisfying to paint these rocks. If It's just kind of a nice um, stress reliever, actually, to do something simple like this that's kind of pretty. So you just cover the whole surface of it like this. You get the idea. So then after this, then we would just let that dry for about an hour, is what the Crayola website suggested that you do. And of course, this, this can be a craft for adults or kids, although acrylic is not it won't come off of your clothes, um, but it's it's still a pretty straightforward thing to do. So then we have a couple of our finished rocks here. Um, this one we kind of let some of the rocks show through, and it has some variation in it. Um, this one is a couple of co of coats actually to cover the rock a little bit more. So it depends how you want that to look. So then um, we just have some sharpies. You want some permanent markers especially all of this if you want to put it outside um, along your sidewalk and the rocks in front of your house wherever you'll want to use permanent marker as well as the like as the acrylic paint so um then you can write a word you can make a picture you can do this a whole variety of ways i've seen um, people recently drawing um, easter chicks and flowers and things instead of writing the words so what i'm going to do um, with some of these, you can kind of see all of our scrawls on our cardboard here. Um, we uh, we did some some um, sample writing out of the words and phrases first, so we could get an idea of how we wanted them to look. Um, 
many of you will have much better handwriting than me, but I am just doing my best here. So I'm going to write my word on here, just something that we all need right now, hope. So got that written on there, very basic. So then the next thing I'm going to do is add a little decoration like we did on the rock that said joy. So again, I am not particularly artistic, but we learned a technique from face painting that's really very, very basic. So just take a tiny little brush in this case. Get some of the paint off of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> My, my assistant who's filming here is the one who really knows how to do this. So. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can do then is if you press your paintbrush down, I'm not going to get this as good as she did, but you could actually get a petal effect just from pressing your paintbrush down sideways. So it's not It'll be different effects if you if you're different ways of doing it, but it's not bad. It'll it'll um it can work. Should we put one up here over here? Do I need to sure. put a little more paint on there? Show them up yeah. close what that one looks like. And then so you can do just a very basic kind of a flower, um, so that you. Very imperfect little flowers, but kind of fun. So then you would just take something and put a center in it. Um, let me just do the same one. So we'll just open up our yellow over here. Just put a little dot of color in the middle. Make it look like a flower. So just a little basic decoration that you can do to add to it. that one. So on this one, for the uh, science fiction fans among us, we're going to write, oh, I was going to do a different color, wasn't I? You were. I was going to do a purple. Oh well. Um, I'm still going to, it might look a little weird. <laughs> we haven't tried the colored markers yet. We're going to write, don't panic on that petition. Should we do all caps, do you think? All caps. All yeah. caps. In large, friendly letters. Because that is a phrase from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So this is our alternate version of inspirational words. <laughs> You get the idea. So, and we can work it into a pattern somehow. All right. So, just very basic things. Let them dry before you put them outside. Um, there's supposed to be some kind of a clear coat that you can put over it if you wanted to to really make them stand up to um, the weather. But I will post the link to a couple of sets of directions for this on our Facebook page and our website as well so that you can have some ideas about how to make some fun and inspiring rocks of your own. Thanks so much.